Now in this video I discuss you why the air refrigeration system used in the aircraft even it have a low COP and why the CR system is not used in the aircraft. Now this air refrigeration system has a lower COP that is a less than 1 and VCR system has a COP greater than 1. Okay. So VCR system has a good performance but it is not used in the aircraft and air refrigeration system has a lower COP but it is used in the aircraft. So we study the different reasons why it is used. So first is that the air is freely available and it have no cost. It is a safe, it is non-toxic, non-flammable. So there is a not non-toxic means it is not hazardous to the human beings. It is a non-flammable means there is a no possibilities of the fire if the, it is leakage. So at that high altitude suppose we use the VCR system so it contains the flammable refrigerants it is hazardous for the human beings and at that high altitude when the aeroplane is fly and something leakage is happen so it is dangerous for the humans that why is the VCR is not is used in the aircraft and the air refrigeration is used second points the cold air coming out from the turbine or from the expansion is directly supplied to the cabin that means they are not required the evaporators they are not required the heat exchangers so these are reduce the weight of the aeroplanes or aircrafts so aircraft is specially designed for the lower weights when we some some person is traveling to the another country so they are taking the limited weight with them okay and so due to these weight constraints the aeroplane is also designed by the lower weights okay Suppose we use the VCRS system, it's it is a closed system and they require the evaporators. So this evaporator is increase the weight for the VCRS system. Okay, that's why it is not used. Third point, the aircraft engine already consists of the high speed turbo compressors. Okay, the aircraft is flying by using the gas power cycle. In gas power cycle, that is already compressor is available. So we are not required to put, install the new compressor inside the aeroplanes. So this already install engine or turbo compressor is used for the compressor of the aircraft refrigeration system so some air is bleeds from these turbo compressors for the refrigeration purpose so this reduce the weight per kilowatt of the cooling system and approximately it's reduce the 50 percent of the weight because the highest weight of the refrigeration system is for the compressors and compressor is eliminated for VCR system. Suppose we are decide to install the VCR system, so it required a new compressors and its weight is higher, so it increased the weight of the aeroplanes. Okay, that's why VCR system is not used in the aircraft refrigeration system. And the last point is that design of the complete system is much simpler due to the low pressures. So in the VCR system, it have the higher pressure in the condensers. And in the air refrigeration system, it's contained the lower pressures. Lower pressure means we require a smaller diameter of tube to have, tube have a lower thickness. And lower pressure then means it's required a lower maintenance cost. So these are the different four reasons. That's why we use the aircraft refrigeration systems in the aeroplanes. And we are not used the VCR systems. If you learn something, then like my video, subscribe my channels and share with your friend.